Anyways, yeah, we're doing a photo walk today with a bunch of people from the college. There's a bunch of GIT alum people here. Uh, I'm see I got to see Nick. Uh, me and him worked together at Bolte Hall over the summer, so that's cool. Um, yeah, we're just out here taking pictures, uh, going to a couple places. I actually don't know where we're going. Okay, for real though, check out this tree growing in the alleyway. That's awesome. How'd that even happen? Someone lost a shoe. Kansas City, filled of people that lose their shoe. Okay, the group's kind of split up right now. Half the group is up there, half the group is back there. The reason half the group is back there is because Nick started talking to a guy about petrified wood. So far, our trip, very good, very excellent. Having a, having a good time. That was a really fun trip up to Kansas City. I've never been on a photo walk before, so going out with like a group of people take a bunch of pictures of just like the local area, I thought that was really cool. I've done that before, but it's always just been like by myself, and really I never had like a name for it, it was just I'm gonna go out and take pictures. I didn't know like a photo walk, or like a group of people just going to take pictures of just normal stuff. I didn't know that was a thing. So that kind of like fulfilled like a, I guess it just made me feel less weird. It's like, yeah, no, the thing that you're doing, that's just like a normal thing people do. I was like, oh, okay, cool. As I said before, got to meet Nick again, which was awesome. Nick's always a really cool guy. He takes a lot of really cool pictures. I didn't know he was so into photography until after I left uh, my internship. And I was like, oh man, I wish I knew. I could have talked to him about all sorts of stuff. Let's see, I keep forgetting to turn on that light. Ow! When we got up to Kansas City, we all met at this uh, at this donut shop. I think what was it called? Donutology. It, I was told we were going to a donut shop, and they had like specialty donuts. And so I was kind of hoping for more like kind of like the donut burger that I got in Oklahoma City donut, but just like weird variations of it, you know? Going off the top of my head, like a hot fudge donut. I don't know what that would be like, but it'd still be kind of cool. The donut I got was like chocolate cake donut. 
I, I guess I was just expecting more like experimentation. Donut was all right. The coffee smelled great. So, you know, I'm not saying it was bad. It's just not what I was expecting. Then after that, we started walking, just started like taking pictures of just stuff. Had a lot of times where people would just pose and get their pictures taken. It was a, a lot of fun. Like there were a lot of walls with like a lot of graffiti on it, which to us were like super cool. Cause it's like, oh sweet. We can just go like get pictures of this because not only is it kind of got a cool look to it, I mean, like, it's, it's beautiful art, which I'm just going to throw my two cents in here. The graffiti on the walls just walking around Kansas City was a hundred times better than a lot of the modern art we saw at the museum, like at the art museum that we later went to. I, like, there was one specific wall, I don't know if, I, I, I hope I got a picture of it, but there was, like, one specific wall which was, like, holy cow, this is an extremely talented artist. And then we go to the art museum and it's like, this guy looks like he dumped over some paint and try to like clean it up, try to get the deal. No, there was a canvas that I saw. It was an entirely brown canvas with a black square in it. And they were trying to explain some like deeper meaning to it. If you want to try to like dive into like feelings and emotions, sure, go for it. That's like, it's a whole other thing. If you're trying to tell me this is a wonderful piece of art, as we were walking around, we were all starting to get hungry and we passed this place called the Char Bar and like we just got this waft of like barbecue and it was like, okay, we're eating here. We're absolutely eating here. It was delicious. I was trying to figure out what I wanted. I noticed there was like a pick two situation on the menu. And so I thought that like, like I ended up getting like pulled pork and beef brisket and I was expecting it to come out as like a sandwich or like some bread with it. No, they just gave me two straight up just piles of meat. I'm like, here you go. Like, and I was looking at it, I'm like, see, this is the same thing with the donatology, where I was expecting one thing and I got another. The difference is, I love this. We're not messing around. You're asking for two meats, bam, here's two piles of meat. I'm like, yes. It was awesome. It was very delicious. I had to eat it all because it was so good, but man, that took, that took some time. That was a struggle, but I prevailed. <laughs> Then after lunch, we walked around for a little bit. We ended up going to the art museum where there was a photo gallery of just like these really cool, awesome photos. All of them were in black and white and they were taken in the time frame of, I believe like the 1920s to like the 1950s. There were a lot of very cool pictures there. It was, it was incredible. Then went around, saw a couple of like other cool statues. We went outside and uh, they have like this beautiful courtyard there it's awesome they had a really cool like giant birdie uh out there they had like a couple of other ones in like different locations it was cool also went through the modern art section and that that was for lack of a better term not art come at me artists don't actually no don't actually fight me because i like i mean if you want to have a conversation that's fine but like whole like like if you want to get into an argument like this is a great piece of artwork it's like that and no a child could do that. A child did do that. Anyways, I was looking through a lot of the photos that I took on that trip, and these were my favorites. 